Hello everyone, my name is Milu and today I'm going to answer the next Fun Fact Friday question. Why do Rizzo's dolphins get much more scars in comparison to other dolphins? So first I will focus on general dolphin scarring and then I will focus on Rizzo dolphin scarring. So dolphins get their scars in many different ways. They are bite marks, scratches from prey that are trying to protect themselves like squid that hit with tentacles on the body of the dolphin and also human impacts like fishing gear. Um, the main amount of scarring occurs around the head of the dolphin because that's where the most prey activity takes place and also dolphins have a very sensitive skin because they lack uh, fur so they don't have fur like many other mammals have. At least the broad principles of wound healing in dolphins are similar between species so the, the blubber which contains fat and connective tissue uh, regenerates easier, faster and almost completely but then in contrast to the skin this is a very complex organ so this doesn't regenerate completely and also doesn't repigmentate completely and then you have the the muscle damages the very deep muscle damages they uh, don't completely regenerate either and they result in a lack of pigment and in a permanent scar in other dolphin species like the bottlenose dolphin, scars fade between six months and one year. Uh, but in Rissus dolphins they don't fade even after the wound is healed. So Rissus dolphins are born black and they die white due to the scarring. And this is how they also get the name Michael, well the nickname Michael Jackson dolphin. So they, uh, while they are aging they become more white except for the dorsal area which remains mostly black. Rizzo's dolphins often stay near the coast where other Rizzo groups are also present. In the island of Pico, which is another Azorean island, for example, Karen Hartman, she is doing a long-term research project and their males stay together for longer periods of time. So this causes intraspecific interactions. And what this really means is fighting and concurrence, competition between especially the males of those species and this causes a lot of scarring. Their skin is literally scratched off during these fights and becomes thinner in older animals. So their appearance of the skin gives a good indication about their age. They do this by using the few teeth they have in the lower jaw, about two to seven pairs, because in the upper jaw they lack teeth since they don't require them for their cephalopod diet, which are squids and so on. Um, so their teeth are literally used as weapons um, uh, in male-to-male -male competition. Since females compete less than males, they are less scarred, so less white. This is an indicator of quality for males, like being strong, which is attractive for females. So I hope that answered your question. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have more questions for in the future, just write uh, an email or write in the comments below and we will try to always get the answers for you. Thank you very much. See you. Bye.